Hi everyone, welcome to this coding exercise 2.8.5 table of favorites. Another table exercise for us, but this one is going to be a little more lengthy and it also is not already set up. So what we're going to do is we are going to kind of outline our table and how it needs to look and then we will fill in the information that they're asking for. So I'm going to click on assignment and it gives me an example of what my table is going to look like here. I can see that it's going to be the days of the week and then have four different rows beneath that header row for a total of five rows. And obviously because there are seven days in the week, I've got seven columns going here. So using the HTML table, I'm supposed to make a list of all of these different favorites. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come into the body of my page and I'm going to just start off with adding in my table tag. I'm going to hit enter because everything that I do should fall between the two tags opening and closing for table. Now I'm also, while I'm thinking about the table tag, going to add in <coughs> Um, my table border. And I'm going to set that to a one pixel border. Don't need to type the PX there. So I don't have anything yet because I've got no content in my table. So I need to keep working. And the next thing that I'm going to do is start working on adding in my first row. So inside of the table, I need to use a TR tag to establish my first row. And as I can see, the first row is going to be a header row um, with the days of the week. So I'm going to hit enter so that I'm working between the two TRs. And I'm going to start with a TH tag for Sunday. I'll click at the end and do another one for Monday, and so on. I'm gonna do all the days of the week here. Remember that we are using the TH tag because it is a header row. We can see that it is to be bolded. So that is why this one is gonna be TH. All right, I've got all seven days of the week. If I come back to my output now, we can see that first row has formed. So that is great. The next thing I'm going to do is add in my second row, which it tells us here is going to name the favorite food to eat for breakfast of that day. So I'm going to come at the end of this TR tag, hit enter, create a new row, hit enter again. And now I'm going to use TD tags because it's no longer in the header row, it is table data. So I'm going to add in different breakfast items and I'll need to have seven different TD tags for seven, seven days of the week. If you are having trouble thinking of breakfast foods, I don't care what you put in. Look, I'm going to put spaghetti. Um, if you want to say that you eat cereal every day, that is totally fine to me. Whatever works for you, just as long as the um, exercise is set up properly and your table is formatted correctly, I am perfectly okay with whatever content. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. I need one more. Seven. Okay. I'm going to go to my output and refresh. And there we go. My first row is looking good. My first row after the header, that is. All right, now because I'm going to be using TD, TD tags through the rest of the table, if I want to, I can type my TRs again, or I can just copy this information. 
from the first TR on line 18 to the second on um, 26, this stop tag, and hit enter, and I can just paste and change out this info. Makes it a little bit quicker. If, you, if it makes more sense to you to retype it out, that's totally fine too. So for this one, it's going to be favorite activity to do on that day. So I'll say dance, read, paint, take a walk. Again, whatever you wanna put is fine with me. Okay, checking my output again just to make sure everything looks good. <clears throat> and it does, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just copy and paste this again for my next row. Oops, I keep highlighting too much. From line 27 to line 35, I'm going to copy it and paste. My next row should be my favorite person to hang out with on that day. So I'm going to put my husband, my son, one of my friends. Okay, just fill out with different people. It does not matter to me. Once again, who you put in here. I'm going to come to my output just to check. It's good to regularly refresh and make sure everything is looking good. And it is. Now I've only got one more row. This one I am going to type out just to show you how to do it one more time um, in case anyone needs the review. But if you're just copying and pasting, feel free to continue with that route. So I'm going to type a TR tag and hit enter. And I'm going to use TD tags to say my favorite place to go that day. And I'm using TD tags the whole way through. All right, and I don't have enough TD tags yet, but I do wanna show you what happens if you don't have enough in a given row. When I come to my output, you will see that the table is blank for these last two rows. So that kind of shows me that there is not enough and I need to add two more in. So if you're ever unsure, check the output and look out for that just in case. Um, favorite place to go to school. Okay, that should be everything now. Looks good. That is all four of my different categories. So at this point, I should be able to submit and continue. Lots of things they're checking for. Make sure all of those check marks are green, and then you'll be able to submit.